Hey everybody, it's Jason from the Texas Gun Vault, and once again I'm coming to you with another EDC gear review. And today we're going to be taking a look at another flashlight, or as I think some people in the land down under call them, torches, from Through Night, one of my favorite companies. And I can tell you I have been carrying Through Night flashlights ever since I started to review them, because I honestly think they give you the biggest bang for your buck when it comes to a light. These things have been absolutely outstanding for me. They have been durable, long lasting, and I like all of the options that they have. But they've sent me another one. This is gonna be the Archer Pro V2. And I even asked for one in orange. Now I don't have any flashlights in orange and I'm hoping this is going to be a replacement for my current EDC light because I really wear these things out. They're always with me, always in my pocket. And that's not to say that the durability of these is bad. I just like to have a fresh new one every once in a while, especially one that might be in a cool color. So we're gonna go ahead and unbox this. Let me adjust the camera. We'll see what comes in this new box. So they've obviously changed the design of their packaging, which I do like. Then we'll test it out here in the garage and I'll give you guys my final thoughts. So here's the box, the Through Night Archer Pro V2 comes in. I have to say, I like their new packaging over their old packaging. I used to hate how they used to put the labels over the logos and the model. Now it's a lot nicer. I like this paper box and they put the label on the back. I've already opened this, but I have not taken out the light. So we're gonna open this together here. So let's see what we have in the box. And here we go. Ooh, and that light is definitely orange. Take a look at that. It's finished really nice. Let's see what else we got. We got, of course, the charging cable. And we got the owner's manual. And I think that is it. So we don't get a lanyard with this one. Occasionally we get a lanyard with those. But I think this is supposed to be more of an EDC light. One of the lights that I have been carrying lately is the Through Night TT20. This is more of a general purpose flashlight. It's kind of big, so I only wear this when I'm wearing more clothes and I have more gear on me. So right now it's the summertime here in Texas and having a smaller light would definitely be better. I have to say the color of this is nice. The finish seems to be really nice and it's very light for a flashlight of this size. So there's my hand and the size. And in the past, I've had to unscrew the light and take off maybe a tab or something to make it work. Maybe not on this one. There's our charging port. And maybe this one, the battery is just internal. I'll have to double check on the user's manual. When it comes to the emitter, it's a non-orange peel emitter, so it's more flat. It does not have anything on the bezel for like tactical use. It's definitely maybe just a general purpose EDC light. That reflector is very reflective. Not a very big emitter. So I'm gonna go ahead and spend a couple minutes with the owner's manual, figure out the features of this thing, and then we'll try it out and see if I like it, and then try it out here in the garage. All right, so I let this thing charge and I spent some time going over the owner's manual and it appears that it is all controlled by a button in the back. If you hold the button down, it goes into Firefly mode. I don't know if you can see that right now, but it is 0.5 lumens. Then if you push the button one time and click it, it goes to this intermediate setting. And this setting is variable in that now that it's on that setting, if I hold the button down, it will either get progressively brighter or progressively dim, depending on where it is in the flow of things. So right now it's getting dimmer, it will flash, and that tells you it is at the lowest setting, which this is supposed to be 13 lumens. Now if I hold it down and it goes all the way to the brightest setting, it will flash again, and that is supposed to be 430 lumens. And so every time you click the button one time, you'll go back to the last setting wherever it was on that sliding scale. So let me dim it again about halfway. I will then turn it off. And then when I push the button again, we're back to that setting. Now, if I click the button two times, it goes into turbo mode and it claims it is 950 lumens. And there's turbo mode. 
And then if I click it three times, it goes into strobe mode and it claims it's 115 lumens. So one, two, three, and there is that. So that's how you control that. Personally, I like flashlights where you have two buttons, one for the settings and one for on off. But I understand that when you get to smaller lights, you really need to just have one button. You just have to remember how that button works. So that's the function of this light. So far, I'm pretty happy with it. It charged right up, didn't have any issues. So let me go ahead and turn off the lights here in the garage and let's see what this beam looks like. All right, so here we go. I got my camera pointed to that little alcove in the back of my garage like always. I'm gonna start off with firefly mode. There it is. That's supposed to be 0.5 lumens and it actually is pretty bright. This is probably the nicest Firefly mode I've ever seen. It really does project that 0.5 lumens pretty good as compared to other lights that I have used. All right, so now let me go to that intermediate mode with that sliding scale. And let me go ahead and lower the light to the lowest setting. All right, so there we go. So that is the lowest setting. I have to say this has a big hot spot and not a lot of spill. So it's a very directional light. I find that to be very useful, especially for an EDC light. This is also the cool white light. So that's supposed to be the hue. Let's go ahead and raise it up to about mid level here. And that makes a huge difference here in the garage. And as you can see, that is pretty much like a spotlight. It is not really spilling into the rest of the garage as it gets brighter. Now let's continue getting brighter all the way to the top of the scale. And there it is. And man, that is a very directional, very bright spotlight. I really think this is fantastic for EDC and the applications that I would use for everyday carry. Now let me go to turbo mode. There we go. And I don't know if you can tell much of a difference here on the camera. I definitely can. Now I'm starting to light up the rest of the garage. So that is a lot of light for a little flashlight. I think 950 for this size is pretty good. And I can also tell you though, holding it here in my hand as I'm waving it around the garage, it is getting a little bit warm. Not too much, but I'm definitely feeling it here on the turbo mode and on the brighter setting of the intermediate. And of course, I'll go ahead and do the strobe mode. And that of course works. All right, so I'm pretty happy with the settings of this and I really like the quality of the beam. I like how it has a gigantic hotspot and it's very directional. I don't like it when flashlights have a lot of spill that wastes the light. So this keeps all the light in one direction. I like that emitter and the lens it does a great great job all right let me go ahead and adjust the camera again and i'll give you guys my final thoughts on this really cool light from through night all right so what are my final thoughts on the archer pro v2 by through night well i am very impressed with this light as i told you i do carry through nights as my edc lights and i've been carrying a t1 which is a lot shorter but a little bit stubbier than this one and for the winter time i've been carrying the through night tt20 and this is obviously a bigger light and i do have a little holster for it. However, this one is probably gonna fit that intermediate size and I think I might like it more than my T1, which honestly has been my favorite light. I think the advantages of this one are the fact that it is a little bit more narrow. It's not as stubby as the other one. I like the length of it and the size and I really like the power of it. The two things about this light that I don't like is I do wish you were able to remove the battery because if the battery ever goes bad, well, you can't replace it. I like to be able to replace the batteries. I do like the charger in this one, however, but also it does get a little bit hot. So the lack of being able to remove the battery and the heat are the two downsides to it, but it's not unbearable. And the flashlight is pretty affordable, so I guess if the battery did go bad and was out of warranty, 
you could just buy a new one. But I will say all the through nights that I have and all the batteries that I've gotten with them, I've never had any trouble. I've had a few of those for quite a few years. Now, when it comes to the beam of this, this is exactly what I'm looking for in a general purpose EDC light. It's the right size and that beam has a big hotspot that's very directional. And I do like that cool white hue to the light. So overall, I'm very impressed with this. I even like the color and the knurling on the outside of the tube. So it is a very attractive light as well. So a couple of things this thing might want to have maybe as a little lanyard. Some of their lights have those or maybe have a little carrying pouch. But I think that for what it is with the clip, it's just fine. This is definitely for pocket carry. And so I'm pretty happy with what comes with it, but it does get a little bit hot and the, you can't take the battery out. So that's my only complaints. But everything else about it, I think it's awesome. So on my star system, how would I rate the through night? Archer Pro V2. Well, I can easily give this thing 4.75 stars out of five. And after just taking it on a little trip here in the garage, trying it out, I can say this is probably gonna be my new general purpose EDC light for just light applications. So if I'm not all kitted out and all geared out, this will probably be in my pocket. And I really like the color. I like the colors they offer on these things. So there you go. That's my review on the Through Night Archer Pro V2. Another great light. And I'm telling you, if you have not tried out a Through Night light, I highly recommend them. They've just been quality for me. I know a lot of people go, well, it's not Surefire, it's not Streamlight, it's not Olight. They are quality and I have been carrying them and I'm being very honest with you guys. I'm not saying that just because they sent this light in for review. This is not any type of paid endorsement. Through Nights have just honestly been my go-to light since I've reviewed them. And you guys know that when it comes to my reviews, especially with firearms, I am as honest as I possibly can be. I get nothing out of this review except this little flashlight. So that's it. Well, I hope this video helps somebody, especially if you're into EDC gear. So let me know what your thoughts are in the comment section below. And as always, thanks for watching.